Hi, this video session, we're going to focus on how to develop your AO1 skills in relation to statistical infrequency, as well as assess your learning of the topic too. Let's start with a quick definitions task. Now, in the three boxes on your screen, you can see three terms that you may use when describing statistical infrequency. Pause the video for two minutes whilst you write a definition for each of the terms. So let's see how you got on. The three definitions are on the screen now. We've got statistically infrequent, which as you hopefully know, is a behaviour that does not occur very often in the general population. And then you have the two other definitions and you can compare your answers to the ones on the screen. And hopefully you wrote something similar yourself. Let's have another quick assessment of your AO1 knowledge of statistical infrequency. Take a look at the six statements on the screen and identify which of the statements are true and which of the statements are false. It's a good time to pause this video for two minutes whilst you make your decisions. You can work with a partner if one is available to you, but if not, we'll still compare our answers on the next slide. Hopefully you were able to make a decision for each of the six statements, but let's take a quick look at these together. Number one was false, and as you'll see in later lessons, Breaking implicit rules in society is actually a different definition of abnormality. Number two was false. Someone with an IQ score that is close to the average is definitely not rare. Number three was also false. And this is because statistical frequency is a mathematical approach, so no thematic analysis would be necessary. Four is false, as was number five. And that's because there's plenty of rare behaviours that do not require clinical intervention, such as the high IQ score that we keep referring to in this series. And then finally, number six was true. So hopefully you've done OK with this activity and you're feeling confident with your AO1 knowledge about statistical infrequency. What it's always worth reminding yourself about are the three assessment objectives that you need to develop throughout your course. So here you can see we have AO1 skills, which you tend to be assessed on questions that ask you to do things like outline or describe something. AO2 skills are where you will apply your knowledge. And AO3 skills are where all of your critical thinking and analysis skills come into play. For AO1, you do need to be able to write about things like statistical and frequency coherently, in addition to just remembering some of the key facts. So here's a quick task that will help you to piece together all of the AO1 details about statistical infrequency. For this, you simply need to read and rearrange the points on the screen to form an outline of statistical infrequency that makes sense. Pause the video here for five minutes while you complete the task. You can do this with a partner if one is available to you. Hopefully you manage to get some of the structure right and you can compare your answer with those on the screen. Pause here if you want to take a closer look and compare your accuracy to the screen or compare your accuracy to a partner, again, if one is available. OK, so one final assessment for you in this session. For this, you need to read the information and question on the screen and then write an answer to the question. And it's worth noting here that this question is assessing your AO1 skills by outline and your AO2 skills where it asks you to refer to the scenario. So pause here for five minutes while you read the question and write your response. So now you have your response, what you can do is check your answer against the suggested answer on the screen. You can see here that one mark will be awarded for the outline part of the question and the second mark for the application, which hopefully you spotted was the reference to one in 1,000 people who hoard. So the answer on the screen is broken up into two, and that's just so that you can see where each mark was awarded. So one definition of abnormality is statistical infrequency. And this suggests that any behaviour that is rare is abnormal. So that's going to get one mark. That's the outline part of the question. The scenario states that one in 1,000 people suffer from a hoarding disorder, which means the hoarding is statistically rare and therefore abnormal. And that's going to get the second mark that's available with the AO2 skills. So hopefully you've managed to get two out of two in that question as well. If not, repeat the question and this time make sure that you do each half of the question, the outline and the refer to the scenario. 